Welcome to another review. Today we are looking at the Samsung wireless fast charger. This charger, I think they sell it in two versions. They sell it one without any accessories and one with the charger and USB-C cable included. In this one they only include a USB adapter for using normal micro USB cable so that you can charge it with this adapter in case you don't have a USB-C cable. So the USB-C port is here underneath and here are the ventilation slots which prevent the charger from overheating because there's actually a fan inside and it makes an audible sound like uh, the fan of a laptop. It's not very loud, but you can hear it when you pay attention to it. So the top material has a look of a leather, but it's certainly not leather. It's probably some kind of uh, plastic, but it has a bit of a rubbery feel on it. But it's smooth and it can slide to the side and tilt upwards like to a 45 degree angle to place your phone either laying up like this or flat on the pad like this. I think when you have it flat like this the fan is more likely to jump on and when you have it positioned uh, tilt it like this, then the fan is less likely to switch on. Here there's a small light which will turn blue when you place the phone on top of it and it will turn green to indicate that the phone is fully charged. The build quality seems very solid. The bottom has a rubbery material so to prevent from sliding. It also has significant weight, so when it's on your desk, it won't slip around too much. This is a beige color, beige or sand color, but there's also a version of this model in black color. I got this this color by accident because uh, they only had this one available but I think it's also a good choice because uh, you can see the phone more clearly on the pad so when you place the phone on the pad you will you are more likely to see that it's right in the middle as opposed to when it's black because the phone is black and if the pad would be black also then then you cannot dis see the positioning so clearly so you might place it uh, sideways or the color is uh, very simple all you get in the package is small adapter and a quick start guide and they say to use a 2.0 amp charger so a 1 amp charger might not provide sufficient power to the charging pad and it might damage the electronics perhaps so you better use a strong charger at least a 2.0 amp charger like this one this one came uh, with uh, the Samsung Galaxy phone and it's a fast charger. This end is a normal USB, the standard USB type plug, but the other end 
is a USB-C type connector because this the S8 uses a USB-C connector. The same like which goes into this wireless charging pad. One thing I would have liked is that this opening would be a bit wider so it's easier to pull the cable out because like this is a bit you cannot really pull it out and you might pull on the cable which is not good for the cable so it's a bit difficult to pull out the cable but other than that it seems okay so fast charge is a bit of a misleading spec because some people might think fast charge means that it's going to charge your phone faster than for instance a standard plug adapter with cable which is not the case a fast charge for a wireless charging pad means that it's faster than the previous wireless charging pad generation but it's still slower than any wall charger with uh, for instance 5 watt if you use the cable so don't buy a, a wireless charging pad if you think it's to charge your device faster than a normal plug adapter with cable instead the reason to buy a wireless charging pad is for convenience because you won't have to plug a cable into your phone just to charge your device. So it's out of convenience that you would want to get a wireless charger because it's so easy to just uh, drop the phone on the pad for it to charge and it can double as a stand on your desk, which is very comfortable. I think this stand is even better than normal stands, standard stands which which charge your device. Because this you don't need to plug anything in, you just you just put it on top and it will start charging. And you can see your device while it's being charged. So you can check your messages or send a quick reply. Other chargers, such as from Belkin and Mofi, they are just flat on the ground and it will be difficult to, for instance, if you want to send a quick reply, you have to take the phone up, so you can cannot uh, really operate the phone while it's charging on the pad. But with this one, with which can tilt up like this, it's much more easier to do that in case you want to. So one thing you have to keep in mind is that while using a wireless charger, your phone will probably heat up slightly more than as if you would use a cable to charge your phone directly with the power adapter. So that's why I like this uh, wireless charger because it's the only one currently on the market which has a ventilation, which has a cooling fan. So it will not only keep the charging pad cool, but also your, your phone will stay cooler than with conventional wireless charger because of the fan. It's important because the cooler it is, the better it is for your battery. If it gets too warm while charging, then that could reduce the battery life of your device. So the cooler, the better. And I think it also has some kind of safety feature that when the phone is too hot, it will refuse to charge. For example, try using the video camera for extended periods of time, and then placing it on the wireless 
charger, it will refuse to charge because the phone is very hot. So when it's very hot, it, the pad won't charge your phone. So you have, you have to wait until the phone cools down. But that usually uh, rarely happens unless you watch like YouTube um, for a couple of hours or you use the GPS device uh, for a long time or you are playing games and right after playing games the phone uh, is very hot so better wait for a few minutes to cool down before placing it on the wireless charger. So there are three different positions how you can put your phone on the wireless charger. First is you lay it flat on the pad like that and you can lay it in any direction and it will still charge. Second way is placing the phone at an angle like this vertically or you can place it horizontally and it will still charge the phone even while it's inside the case. So let's, let's try to see if it charge. It already starts charging. Let's put it at an angle like this. You see the light turns blue to indicate that it's charging. Let's put it in horizontal mode like this. Notice it's not really in the center of the pad, but it still charges the device. So they, they must have made the coil going also all the way until here to be able to charge the, the, the device while it's in horizontal mode. So this charging pad costs between 50 to 80 dollars depending if you take the the version which includes the cable and power adapter or like this model doesn't include anything except of the USB-C adapter and the quick start guide. So to, to save some money if you already have a power adapter and a, a fast charger power adapter and the cable, just get this uh, package which only has the wireless device and you can save $30. To see the latest prices on Amazon, please click the link in the description below. This pad will also be capable to charge the newer iPhone devices such as the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10. However, not as fast as it will be able to charge a Galaxy device perhaps, but it's using the standard G compatible charging method, so it will be capable of charging the newer iPhones as well. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.